What's up everybody? This is Rama with Schools of Fish. Uh, I told you guys I would be a little bit more consistent and I'm doing my very best to try to do just that. Uh, I wanted to come to you guys today and let you uh, kind of go over some uh, fish highlights. Periodically I want to try to highlight certain fish. Uh, you know, of course I have my biases. Uh, but today I'm in the, uh, my breeding room in my garage and uh, today's species is going to be the Crobia zinguensis. Uh, I believe these were formerly um, in the species category of uh, aquadens or the car, but they had their own classification just uh, recently. I decided to order some and um, bring them home to try to breed them out. Um, I have eight, but I'm going to thin them out probably tomorrow, bring four to the shop. I think I already have one or two people that's uh, interested in getting some of these, so may not have any available after they get theirs, but um, really interesting fish. Uh, anybody that knows me knows that I have a great appreciation for the Acara species. So these guys, which come out of Brazil, uh, they get really beautiful colors and really nice personality. Um, I love fish that, um, cichlids that tend to not get too big and uh, I guess fall under the semi-aggressive, semi semi-aggressive, peaceful uh, category. Uh, these guys, like I said, I think they get about four to about four to six inches. Uh, the females get slightly uh, smaller. Um, they're fairly peaceful from everything that I've read. I've never personally kept these. Uh, if you do a little Google search, eventually I'll get a little bit more uh, fancy in my uh, videos and I'll start inserting uh, different videos and pictures of fish. But these guys get a really nice uh, red and yellow hues in their uh, in the faces and bodies, uh, mid bodies. So they get really nice color. Like I said, there it's always a plus when you get something that's um, fairly peaceful. Um, but uh, something else, I guess they uh, they come from Brazil. They prefer uh, I guess soft and slightly acidic uh, waters. They usually come from uh, slow slow moving waters with uh, lots of veg vegetation. I put uh, put these guys in a 20 gallon for now to grow them out. Uh, just got a few um, sword plants that are uh, going to grow out but once they get breeding size I'll probably put some uh, pots in there. Uh, like I said, I'm breeding out of my garage right now but uh, I always keep tons of pots around. These guys are these are excellent for uh, breeding cichlids. Uh, I don't have anything. I don't have a whole lot of fish right now in the breeding room, but uh, I always tend to collect uh, pots and uh, slate because most uh, cichlids, especially South American, really love them and uh, they provide great cover and also uh, nice spawning spots. Um, so they're, they're gonna have nice thick vegetation. I may put some moss in there eventually. I have the temperature about 80 degrees, um, which is pr fairly good with them, but I think they probably would do well on 77 to probably 82 degrees. But this is a nice, cool little species. I thought I'll do a quick video, show you guys. Um, uh, let me guys know what other species you will like. I may put them in a show tank or a tank at the shop and uh, do a nice little, uh, uh, I guess uh, description bio on them and uh, keep them coming. Until next time, this is Ramo Schools of Fish and I will talk to you guys later.